true picture of things. My grandfather, you mean? No, your father. There you go again. Why do you keep dwelling in your past? All you have to do, make him understand that is your real father. <laughs> Not when his first wife, my mother's mother is no more. And my mother who gave back to me also is no more. And I do not even know my father. My father's second wife and her children do not like me. They want me killed and eliminated. You can't ask me to go back there. I won't survive there. I can't. I know. I understand you perfectly. When people are trying to make life unsafe for you, when they're trying to make it unhabitable for you, refuse to join them in making your world uninhabitable. Choose to be happy. Take your eyes off the bad things surrendering your existence and focus on the right things. Then and only then shall you have joy and happiness. Yeah, I know. You have a point. But then, if you could... No, 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 no. But go home and tell your father what happened to you. I don't want to go back to that house again. No. Not after all the humiliation I suffered from Nana and his siblings. Not after I vowed never to step my foot in that house again. But I can't continue to stay in Uche's house. He's already complaining. What do I do now? I don't have any other friend or relation in Enugu. Go back to that house again? Yes, Papa, I am. Nana and Chinedu left as soon as you gave us that instruction. And they let me do the whole work in the farm alone. They may think that they are punishing you. But the experience you are acquiring now is making you a man. Nana and the Chinedu are wasting their manhood. They do nothing all day but roam around the village, drinking and going after little girls. In those days, I would have sold them into slavery. But they are lucky. Don't let their behavior bother you, because they have no direction, they have no future. Papa, even Ngozi did not come to the farm with any food today because Chinedu and Nana were not there. I was left to, to, to work on an empty stomach all day. Ngozi at her age to have been married with children, but she's still staying with me. It's sad. It's pathetic. You go to the kitchen and find yourself something to eat. Thank you, Papa. Ngozi, 
Ngozi, where is my food? That, that girl is not too fat, Biko. That girl is too fat, Biko. <laughs> I don't like fat girls. <laughs> you just say excuse of redemption, the third woman my mama is bringing for you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't matter why. But we'll get the email. <laughs> No, no, the email. The email. <laughs> because I'm not the one I'm asking. I said, Where is my food? Brother, you have to consider that game, brother. Oh, man. So it's a dog that's Don't backing. you dare touch me? Are you stupid? Are you not supposed to dish food for everyone in this family? Which family? Which family? Don't try me. Don't just try me. Leave him. Let him torture. So this is what both of you have to say in this. What else do you want us to say? Is Ngozi your mate? Tell me, is she your mate? We are even talking to him. Leave him. Torture. Just torture. Eh. Because this room for you. to cry again. No, no, I, I'm not crying. I, I just... You were crying. I saw you from afar. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I won't cry again. You look pale. Have you eaten? like the food? Mama, why are people so wicked and heartless? Why do Ugodia and her sons delight in starving that boy? Mama, you needed to see how he was devouring the food. I'm very sure he's not eating since yesterday. My daughter, stop crying. Some people are like that. Very wicked. Especially to those they know that they are better off. Right. Was he the person that asked his mother to have him out of wedlock? Was he? They make him sober for the sins he knew nothing about. Why? Don't worry. God is in heaven. Watching everything that is happening here. And he is the only one who can take care of them. It's okay, my daughter. Stop crying. <laughs> Ah. 
Thank you so much, Mama. Not just for the food, but for giving birth to such an angel. My son, you are welcome. And anytime you are hungry, eh? Don't fail to come here to eat. Enugu? I'll remember that, Mama. A story. Ask him how many times I've always asked him to come here and eat. But I will still be the one to drag him here. Every time he'll be looking up as if food falls from the sky. Mama, thank you once again. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done without both of you. I probably would have been dead by now. My son, you don't have to talk like that. No one is his brother's chief. God knows that you are here. And he will always make provision for you. Amen. Nema. Stop crying, huh? Is this the kind of humiliation Uche wants me to go back to? No. Never. I'd rather be dead in this city, living on the streets, than go back to that life again. Life is a mystery no one can tell tomorrow. Helpless people Honestly, Chief, I'm overwhelmed. My heart is full of joy over what the Lord is using you to do in our parish. Um, the parish council and I have decided to come and say thank you specially for your good work. Father, you don't have to go through the stress of coming down to my house just to say thank you. But what I do, I do for God. Not for man. I understand, Chief. But I also know that God lives in heaven and, of, and functions on earth through men like you and I. So there's nothing wrong if I become the voice of the Lord and to come and say thank you for all you have been doing. I do send to other pastors and priests. So many of them. Once it is the work of God, church project, I'm always delighted in seeing them move fast. Mm. Maybe that has been the secret of your unending wealth. Who knows? <laughs> Sir, men from Igbo's cabinet are seated and they've been waiting since then. Oh, sorry. Uh, please. Tell them I'll be with them shortly. All right, sir. Yeah. All right, Chief. I'll be on my way now to allow you to attend to other things. May the peace of the Lord be with you now and forevermore. And with your spirit. Chief, Chief. Chief, you can. Please, Chief. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry I kept you people waiting. Chief, there's no problem at all. No problem at all, at all. We are even more comfortable in your absence. <laughs> Who will ever complain when left alone oh, my in dear. such a paradise <laughs> with goodies? Uh, um, my others, please, uh, let's be precise. Uh, let's go straight to the point because uh, I will be attending a board meeting in an hour's time. <clears throat> the Igwe sent us to you. Okay. The Igwe and we his cabinet members have sat down over the 
philanthropic projects we have executed in our community over strategic places, ranging from installation of electric transformers at various ends to drilling of boreholes and water distribution in every kilometer walk. Also, being instrumental to building of most of our cathedrals. It's a lot of good works. How many can you count? Oh. Eh? <laughs> and I go, and I Just go, one man, the same man doing all this. And I go and I live there. Eh, hey, chief. If you pretend as if you are not impressed over your good jobs, it will not go well with our spirit and your spirit. Right. Oh, make words up. Thank you, my people. Thank you so much. Um, yes. The Igwe and his council in bids has decided to honor you with a chieftaincy title. I want to throw a one. Okay. I'm going to throw a one. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, my phone is ringing. Mm. Oh. Uh, my people, uh, can you permit me to answer my daughter? No problem. Uh, okay. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Daddy. Why are you sounding like that? Daddy, 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 Casey. What, what happened to Casey? <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. We were coming out from the shopping mall. Then all of a sudden he screamed like somebody under an attack. What? Before I knew what was happening, he fell down. And it was in a, something like a seizure for a very long time before he stopped breathing. What nonsense are you talking about? Oh, Daddy, I don't know, I don't know. I brought him to the hospital. Our family doctor is attending to him. Um, um, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'll be there right away. I'll be there. Um, my elders, please. I have to attend to a very pressing need right away. Yes, I'm sorry, I, I have to leave you people here. Eh? I'm sorry. Cardiac arrest? Yes, Chief. We have placed him on a life support machine. Currently, he's in coma. And um, his chances of surviving are 50 50. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you even know who we are talking about here? I know he's your son, Chief. No, you don't know. Doctor, you don't know. I have two children a boy and a girl. This girl sitting down here is the girl. And the one lying there is the boy. My wife died in a ghastly motor accident that rendered me impotent. I believe you, you understand what I mean by that. Chief, I am your family doctor. I know all these things. No, you don't know. I don't think you understand me very well. I just want to explain it to you so that you understand that on no account I mean, on no account should anything happen to that boy. It's okay. We are trying our best. Uh, no, no. I, I didn't say you, you, you should try your best. Doctor, I mean that nothing, nothing should happen to that boy. Whatever it takes. Chief, uh, for now, I suggest we continue praying for him because God is the only giver of life. Heavenly Father, please, God, let my brother not die. Let Casey not die, please, God. Daddy, you are all with God. After we lost our mom to a car accident, Daddy, you are all we have left. Please, please, I beg you, my Lord and my Savior, please. Thank you. 
Chief, I suggest you go to bed. Find a way to sleep because your health is also at risk here. Please. Did you say sleep? Sleep? How? How do I sleep when my, my, my son, KC, is dying? How? Chief, Steve is right. Sir, you've been a devoted Christian all your life. And you've contributed so much money into God's work on humanity. So I strongly believe this is the time your numerous seeds and giving to various churches speaks for you. So some advice to you is to go upstairs and sleep. Yes, sir. Nothing will happen to KC. God, God, you've had it. My son, Casey, Casey must not die. Lord, you say that in every situation we should give you thanks. We thank you, Lord, for you are God that call light out of darkness. Father, you are God that do not desire the signature of any man to be the God that you are. We bless your holy name, O oh God, for our brother, Father, who is lying down here sick. Lord, it is for your glory. Father, it is for the manifestation of your name. We call upon you right now, O oh God. Come down, O oh God. Let there be healing. Let there be healing. Father, for we know that you are not a wicked God. You are not an unjust God. Father, to have abandoned this young man here, Lord, you will not abandon him. Father, for the sake of his father, Father, who has been working in your vineyard, who has been the source of our joy in your vineyard, Father, you are going to heal him. Therefore, Lord, we command, Lord, I command healing upon him. Let there be healing. Let there be healing. Let there be healing upon him. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be healing. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You don't have to worry. This is just a trial you must overcome. Our God cannot be wicked to allow anything happen to your soul, nor the God of our son. Chief, if truly there is a God in heaven that rewards righteousness and faithfulness, I can bet with my life, nothing will happen to your son. He will come back to you. Oh, I can see the Thanksgiving ceremony taking place. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. I shall be praying for him from the chapel. Um, one more thing, Chief. You need to leave this hospital premises. I was told that you have not slept since yesterday. No, Chief. It is not good for your health. You need to go home. Go home and sleep. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, you will be greeted with good news of his recovery. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Chief, you don't have to thank me. You deserve more than that. In fact, I am not supposed to leave this place until he is fully recovered. That is how much you mean to us. You deserve more than that, Chief. Thank you, Father. May the Lord be with you. Amen. Talk to me. 
the situation. Calm down, Chief. God knows the best. Oh my God. Enough of this gospel. I have enough clergy friends that can tell me or talk to me about God. You are only a medical doctor, and that is what you know best. Tell me the health condition of my son, Casey. Chief, we lost him. You what? Take out, Chief. We did all we could. Engage all our professional skills. We even employed some of the external experts just to make sure he survived. I did all I can. Even I, I even walked beyond my limits because I know the implication of losing him. But who am I to question God's decision? She would if you were Jew. Who to any your pose? Who can be a daughter because I keep asking why bad things happen to good people. Why? 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 Cut. I don't know. Chief, if I say I'm speechless, it is but the least. In fact, I lack words to express my inner feelings right now. But nonetheless, no one can question God. I still believe that God will not leave you empty-handed. Our God is a miracle worker. Therefore, Chief, do not despair. Uh, you see, Chief, the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Chief, the scripture says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. One thing I know for sure, Chief, is that our God is not an unjust God. He will never forget all your good works in his vineyard. All you need to do is to be still, and you shall see the miracle of God. Um, Chief, the Igwe sent his condolences to you and your lovely daughter. He promised to pay you a visit the moment he comes back from his trial. Just be a man. Hmm? You can. Yes, Chief. Arun. But he will be fine after. Wow. You are already a man. Keep being a man, because man is equal to any temptation that comes his way. You will soon get over it. It's a matter of time. Time will heal your wound, Chief. Take heart. Yeah, no, no. The reason I call you to this place because you are the only person that can convince my friend Obina to go against his will. Okay. He can't continue hiding in my place. Obina has a family. He should go and tell them, especially his father, the true situation of things. Uche. Yeah? I understand you perfectly well. I know what you're facing. Fear will be not staying in your house doing nothing. Um, but to tell you the truth, Obina has come through hell in the hands of his step-grandmother and her children. Are you telling him to go back to that same place? 
It won't be easy at all. I will talk to him unless you intending him going back to the village and coming back to meet you. Uh, fine, fine. Then I understand the way you two feel. We'll be not coming back to city for one condition. Unless he's, we start a new business. But if not that, Obina is not coming to stay in my house again. Yeah, I got you. I understand. No problem. So I will, I will talk to him about it. I will try my best and convince him. Better. Please, thank you very much. Bye. If Uche wants me out of his house, I will go. I will leave his house for him after all it is his house. But he shouldn't forget all those times when the going was good and I rendered him help. It's not all about Uche Obin. It's all about you. You come from somewhere. You have a home. That's why you need to go and tell your people the situation of things with you in the city. I do not have people and you know it. Obin. I mean your father. I don't have a father either. Obi, I perfectly understand what you are going through in the hands of your step-grandmother and her children. But at least, that's the only place you can call a home. You didn't just fall from the sky. That home is not real. You know what I go through in that house. If not for you and your mother, I probably would have died. Obi, nothing will happen to you. I am still by your side. I've not left you. No matter how hostile that home is, that's the only place you can call a home. Please just go and tell them, more especially your father. He is not my father. But at least, he is the father to the woman that gave birth to you. You need to let him know your, your situation. Tell him your problems. Please. Nina. Mm -hmm. Will you go to the village with me? Chief, since you don't want to gouge yourself a second wife because of your condition, I suggest you go for a formal adoption. Fine. You talk as if I deliberately do not want to get myself a new wife. I do. But it is wickedness to bring any woman to such a prison when I know that I can no longer perform my duties to her as a man. Who would I want to punish anyone? Why? I understand the perfect chief. Don't mind my joke. The point I'm trying to make is uh, you get yourself a son through adoption. I can personally arrange for that from one of our mission orphanages. And who will not the boy? You can employ the services of a nanny. That is if your daughter wouldn't help. So. Adopting a total stranger into my life is now an option. God's blessing and faithfulness. A total stranger. No more a son from my mother's. Chief, God's ways are not our ways. There is nothing wrong in adoption. There are even more blessings to me than you may know. Maybe God may have had plans towards this direction all this while. Please think about it. There is nothing wrong in it. Dad, I think I like the idea. I mean, I need a brother. Somebody I can call my sibling. It will also help me get over the death of Casey. 
and who plays mother to the boy child? I'm here, and I'll always be here. Moreover, getting a nanny is not a bad idea. I like it. Let's go for it. <sighs> Nothing can be more assuring in fulfillment than when you are no more. You are blood. You are flesh. You are replica takes over from you. Dad, don't worry. It's the same thing. I mean, by the time you watch him grow from a baby to a boy, from a boy to a man, you start seeing yourself in him. And then you, 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 you see him as your flesh and blood. <sighs> Sandra. Yes, Dad. Blood, they say, is thicker than water. Dad, family bonding is stronger than blood apart. Think about it. Uh, you see, baby, I'm so happy seeing you get over the death of your brother so soon. I'm really impressed. Yeah. I'm even impressed with myself. Maybe it's the idea of my dad getting us a foster son that really helped. An adoption? You don't like it? No, oh, it's, it's okay. I don't know, but is it necessary? You know, does it make sense? Did you just ask that? Yes, uh, you know, considering your age, you know, you're going to be older than him, you know, your brother. You're going to look more like a mother to him than a, than a sister. I don't know. Does, does it make sense? What do, what do you think? Does that matter? Oh, so it's okay. Yeah. Everything has scattered. Everything our plan has scattered. Onto what level? Ah, onto what level? My wife to be now. Yes. See, Jude, her dad is planning on adopting a male child. Are you Someone that is going to inherit everything he has when he dies. Are you serious? I'm telling you. The worst part of it all is that, you see my woman, yes. I tried to see if I could discourage her. I did everything within my reach to discourage her. But as everything appears, it seems she has a fans of the development already. Child. I don't understand. I've done everything I could. She's not even listening to me. People can be different. Instead of that man allowing his only daughter to inherit his wealth when he dies, he preferred bringing in a total stranger into the house to inherit what he doesn't have any connection I with. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. What? Someone that has no connection with, with how everything started. Well, anyway, um, but see, um, Jude. Yes? You see my babe, even if the dad passed away, it's not as if she won't inherit anything, Sha, but you know. I know, I know. See, I was hoping on you becoming the owner of everything. I mean, everything. But, hmm, nevertheless, what will be, will be. What's going to be? Tell me what's going to be then. Calm down. Talk to me, what's going to be? Sure you are feeling fine. Now you hardly eat these days. Oh, who is moody? What is the problem? I am not feeling. How can I be feeling fine when I have not heard from my grandson for the past one month? I've tried his phone. It is permanently switched off. 
I sent people to the city to go and establish his whereabouts. They came back and they told me that he no longer stays where he used to stay. You expect me to be happy when I don't know what has happened to my grandson? No, I am not fine. And because of that, I am not hungry. Oh, Sario, I never knew it has to do with the bastard. What? Obina, my son. Is that you? Yes, Papa. It's me. The Lord be praised. How did you suddenly disappear without trace? What happened to you? Papa, I have been meaning to come back, but I, ha I had a couple of things holding me down. Brother! Brother! Omen! What is it? Omen! He's back! I thought he said he was not going to step his foot in this compound again. Who? Who else? Obina. Yes! As I'm talking to you now, he's with Papa out there. I thought you were even going to say something more serious. That is not part of my problem now. I have a lot of things to think about. Eh? It's not your problem, Ewa. Okay, all your hair making an apple. Will Papa will hand you over all of your inheritance? That time you shall know it's your problem. I could go my dad. Eh? Hey. Please allow me. Okay. You look like you have a long story. I really do have a long story, Papa. All right. Take your luggage inside. We'll talk later. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you, Papa. So, Obina, I've been going through all these tribulations. All these challenges, all these temptations, without letting me know why. Papa, I did not want to bother you with my problems. I see. So your, your, your problems are, are no longer my problems, right? No, no, it's not like that, Papa. I always knew that something was wrong, because I always knew it. In fact, each time I saw you in my dream, I felt something was wrong. You didn't look like yourself to me. You did not. But now that you're back, I thank God for it. Amen. You know, there is something I want to let you know. And this is pure philosophy. The downfall of a man is not necessarily the end of his life. No! What marks you out as a man is your ability to rise when you fall. And I can tell you, Looking at you, Obina, I can say you are the man. You will rise again, son. Amen. You will rise again, son. Amen, Papa. I mean, look. Look at all the rascals that kneel around my house, just eating. Not knowing that it's about time they started their own families. But no, they never think about it, no. They want to be parasitically attached to their father, which is a shame. You left this place. And in under one year, you were able to establish your own business, rent an apartment, buy a car. I'll tell you something. You will rise again. Amen. Yes, you will. Amen, Papa. If it means selling every single property I have, I will do it to ensure that you, Obina, will re-establish your business and it will flourish again. Thank you, Papa. Papa, God bless you. God bless you, Papa. It's all right, my son. Papa, I don't know what to say to appreciate you. Son. God it's bless right, you. Son. 
What is wrong with you, Nenna? What has come over you? How can you just wake up one day and decide to go back to the village again? The, the, the plan is to keep you around to help you secure admission in one of the highest institutions here in Inugu. But, but I, can still, I can still pursue my admission from the village. Inugu is not far from the village. What do you even see in this village that is making you want to go back again? Eh? Your mates are coming out to, to see light and you, and you prefer darkness. What is so interesting in that village that you prefer to go back there than to stay here in the town? Hey, brother, nothing. I just want to go to the village. Wait, tell me the truth. Just tell me the truth. Are you having issues with anybody around this house? No, I'm not having any problem with anybody. Babe, how could you say that? She's not having any problems with me, if that's what you're thinking. Eh? Please, allow her to go back to the village, if that's what she wants. Simple. No, honey, no. She's not going back to that village. I'm not going to the village to, to disturb anybody. I just want to go. I'm not caught up for this uh, uh, nonsense this morning. By the time I come back in the evening, you tell me everything because right now you're talking nonsense. I want to go, I want to go. Every time crack, crack, you will kill somebody. I just want to go. My dear, has he accepted that you go back to the village? Yes, he has. And he made me promise him that I will come to the village and stay with him. Okay, that's good of you. Don't mind your brother. He'll come around, okay? Okay. <laughs> I thought they said he's the champion. Because he went to the city and met small change. He couldn't hear for now in this house. Why is he back to the village again? Oh, he would not Mama, that is not even the issue now. The issue is that Ngozi overheard Papa telling Obin that he will sell a plot of hand to establish him in business. Wow, I heard it very clearly. Mama, hex we roll. Mm, I swear, hex we roll. How can Papa think of using our inheritance? The land that I've been crying that it is not enough for my brother and I to settle a total stranger. Hey! Why? Hey! Papa does not know what I'm capable of doing. It's about you, my brother. Because if he does, he wouldn't have even imagined that nonsense in his heart, let alone saying it out. Papa doesn't know at all. Forget all those, those, those thoughts. Forget it. Happen here, no let me go be there, man. He couldn't sell one to establish his own son, his own flesh and blood in business. Mm. He wants to sell and establish the bastard in his house. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine, Mama. And I call the house. And I call the house. And I call the You know you are my only sister. And you are my only brother. I know I want the best for you. Like, uh, have you asked for anything and I never did it for you? No, no. Good. Now, in the morning, I knew you were trying to say something. But because of the presence of my wife, you withheld it. Now she's asleep. It's just the two of us here. Please tell me, what is the problem? No, brother, I'm not having any problems with Auntie. We are fine. Then why have you suddenly decided to go back to the village? It's... It's about me. About you? What about you? It's... It's... Come on. It's... Uh... It's about Obina. Obina. Yes, brother. And who is Ebina? Um, Mazuko's grandson. 
Isaac was going to say, yes, I know. Yeah. I, 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 I heard he's doing well in the city, very well for himself. Yes, brother, he was doing well in the city until he ran into the hands of um, some fraudsters. Uh -huh. they, they took his money, took his business, cars, everything. He was left with nothing. That's why he's decided to go back to the village, at least to pick up. And because of him, he wants to go back to the village? That bastard! What are you even doing with him? Huh? Ain't nobody like him. And I hope you're not trying to bring him to this house anytime as a suitor. No, 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 brother, at all, not at all. We open and, and I we are we are just fond of each other. We are just friends. And, and you know how his uh, um grand grandmother and her, her children treat him. So I'm I'm always there to help him ease his pain. That's enough! Pen Isa. Now listen to me and listen good. You're not going to that village, not today, not tomorrow, not any time! I don't want to go now. This discussion is over. I don't want to, want to go. If, if you talk about this anymore in this house, you'll find it hard with me. Good night. Every time you'll be shouting, 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 shouting. Uh, is your own going? I want, I want to go. A relation of mine whose son lives in Europe had expressed some intention to buy that land. Uh, he impresses me as being quite serious about it. Uh, I'm assuring you that the moment he pays for that land, the following day you are off to the city. Resume your business. Oh, Papa, thank you so much. <laughs> Papa, you don't know what you have done for me. All right, son. Thank you, I appreciate uh, this. You see, son, you don't know what you mean to me. I hope that one day, someday, the good Lord will make you realize what you mean to me. Then you will know why I'm doing all this for you. Amen. Papa, what is this that I'm hearing? Your ears are not made of plastic, so whatever it is you hear is what you heard. I heard that Mas Uchachuku's son, the one that lives in Europe, wants to buy our parcel of land behind the house. You heard right. Papa, why? You asking me why I want to sell my own parcel of land? Are you out of your mind? What have been wasting in this village since I came back from the city? I am glad you realize you've been wasting. Whose fault is it? Begging you to sell just one plot of land and give me the money so I can go back to the city and hustle like other people. You refused. Now you want to sell the land for this, this, this thing. This bastard. <laughs> no, let's, uh, let's just uh, turn our minds a little bit and find out who the bastard here is. I sold a parcel of land, gave you money for it, you left for the city. You blew that money in the company of free women, patronizing all sorts of bottles you could come into. At the end of the day, you came back here, dissipated and finished, to once again live at my own expense. Oh. Who is the bastard here? You will not dare it in this compound, else heads will roll! So I've looked at your head and it looks to me like it qualifies to roll. Those who knew me will tell you about my prowess with the merchant. One blow and the head rolls. By the way, let me remind you, I've arranged a jumping block and I think it will fit your head. One strike and the head rolls. You will not try it. You will not try it. I will not try it in this compound, but I can try this glass of palm wine. Try it as they have it here. <laughs> it's good, Papa. It's good. <laughs> hey! You know, Papa is trying me. Papa is trying me. If I do not strangle that boy to death, then. I am not Chinedu. Yajajaju Exen. Tell me, why is Papa this heartless and senseless? Why? Your two sons 
who are supposed to inherit something, just like you inherited from your father. He wants to sell because of a boy whose fatherhood is not determined. Tell me, Chinedu, is that not wickedness? What else is it? What else? Pure wickedness. But if he has bewitched him, <laughs> he will not be alive to reap the fruits of his chance. Over my dead body will I allow that happen in this house. I will not be alive to see my inheritance sold because of a bastard. Abba, please. I, I don't want I don't want their trouble. If they don't want you to sell the land, just leave it. I promise you I will bounce back. I will work hard and make sure I get back on my feet. Now I see the pacifist in you talking. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells me what to do in my own house. Not, not, not anybody. I make up my mind on anything I see it through. Nana is 40. He has lived with me all his life. He doesn't live to me like a very enterprising individual. Therefore, his threats are empty. There's nothing in his head. It is tragic. I know, Papa, but I don't want to be the reason for any conflict in this household. I promise you, I'll do anything it takes. I'll do menial jobs, I'll farm. Just anything to bounce back, just like the way I did before. And I promise to make you proud. I repeat myself. I make up my mind on anything I see it through. I have said I'll sell that parcel of land. And I will. And I must. The moment the money comes and you're on your way, I'm not going back on that. No. Thank you, Papa. Who took the money I kept on the table in the family? Are you deaf? That did not answer my question. I said, who took the money I kept on the table in the parlor? Listen to me. Since I came back to this village, I've stayed on my own. I have tried to avoid any conflict with you people. Please, do not start now. <laughs> Obi, I'm asking you for the last time. Who took my money in this house? I did not take any money. You are a she! I saw you go near that table this morning. Who took my money up in now? Up in now! Up in now! Selling the land. Mm. I advise you to do so. Mm. Yes. Okay. There is no point uh, trying to mm. gain from uh, Now you go. We go to your wife and children want to kill your grandson. What? Ah! Papa! Papa! No, 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 no. Why are you
Please don't do it. How did you find me here? Life is a mystery. No one can tell tomorrow. Helpless you please don't do it. Let me let me do this. Let me end this once and for all. What am I living for? They all want me dead. Nobody wants me alive in that house. Let me just kill myself. I don't have a mother. I don't have a father. I don't have anybody. Let me just die and go away. I'm a very big reason for you to still be alive. Please, don't take your own life, please. You can live for me. Just live for me, please. Mommy, please, don't do this. Don't try doing this again, please. Come. No, I don't want to go back to that house. Okay, just let's leave this place. So they have opened this gate again. They have opened this gate again. I hope these bastards have not come into this compound because whoever I meet now will be a scapegoat. Did you not see Papa's face? That man I saw there was not playing at all with that cut last night. His anger was as big as the moment. I believe he will be down by now. Biko bian kainan. Let's go. Ah, he kain remember. Mama Biko, eh, 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 Mama Biko, let's wait till night falls. Ah. The plan worked very, very well. Before Uncle, what were you thinking? I know that no how will Ungo slap him that he will not want to beat her up. I know him very well. God just saved him. Besides, by now he would have been history. Because Papa will now know that I meant everything that I said. Let's go. Let's go. We can remain here. Ay. Ay. Papa, take it easy, be good, no. It's all right. Um, it shall never be good with those who did this to you. Never. The good Lord will punish them forever. It's all right, sir. Papa, 
can I ask you a question? Good, anything. How did I come into this family? Was my mother wayward? Was she a harlot? Why have I been treated with so much hate as though I came from hell? Your mother was my first daughter from my first wife. She's a wonderful girl. Unfortunately, my wife died giving birth to your mother. Because I have been dubbed by misfortune with pitiless constancy, I don't always like talking about the past. But I have to give you the answer to your question. Your grandmother was a very, very beautiful woman. As a man, I have always had an eye for very attractive women. I saw your grandmother. It was love at first sight. I got married to her and She died even with your mother. Your mother, because she was a very good girl, I transferred all the affection I had for my wife to your mother. And she was very companionable. She was, she was the, the only real friend I had. Then, she also died giving birth to you. Who was my father? That is where the story gets old, that's where it gets twisted. I don't know my daughter. Yes, Papa. When I look at you, I feel very happy. You've grown into a very beautiful woman. And uh, you, you remind me of your mother. Hmm? So, your mother gave birth to you the baby girl, but more essentially, she left you as a legacy of what she was while she was alive. This is why when I look at you, I, I feel very happy because I see, I see your mother in you. Hmm? Yes, Papa. There is something I want to tell you. You are now at an age where men will be attracted to you and will want to exploit you. You see, it is quite natural that men take to pretty girls just like fish takes to water. I want you to be on guard. I want you to be very strict in your relationship with the opposite sex. If a man comes to you and says he likes you, he wants to get friendly, etc., make sure you can divine his intention. What do I mean by that? Let him be somebody who would want to marry you. So you don't just hop into bed with him. Hmm? Yes, Papa. If such a man comes along, ask him to come and see your father. If actually he is genuine and he would want you to be his wife, tell him to come and see your father. Hmm? If he is really interested,
rested in marrying you, then he will come and see your father. But if he is not the kind of person who is genuine, the moment you mention coming to see your father, he will disappear. What the white man calls showing a clean pair of heels, he will never come back. Mm -hmm. Yes, Papa. I want you to bear that in mind. Okay, Papa. Promise me you're going to do that. Thank you, Papa. I will not disappoint you, I promise. Mm. Yeah. Adana. Yes, Papa. When are you going to dress in your Sunday dress? Papa, you know I promised you that I would never disappoint you. I know you did. But I have good news for you. I can't wait to hear it. Come on. <laughs> I want to give it to you as a surprise, Papa. You know I don't like surprises. Hmm? Mm. All right. So how long is this suspense supposed to last? Papa, until I return. Until you return? Yes, Papa. It's all right. Go on. Adana, what is wrong with you? But I'm fine. What do you mean you're fine? What is wrong with you? You want to die here? Get up, let's go to the hospital. Papa, I'm not going to any hospital, Uncle Venaga. I said, get up, let us go to the hospital. Papa, I don't want to go. Why? I don't want to go. All right. Since you don't want to go to the hospital, I will invite a nurse to this place. Come and take your blood samples. And whatever it is, they would require to take for their examination. And um, after the doctor would have analyzed all that in the laboratory and given us his prescription, then I know what to do. But I will not allow you to stay here and die in my house. I'm going to get a nurse. I don't understand this. I don't. Mazugu, there's trouble. I know that something is wrong, but what is the problem? Your daughter, she's two months pregnant. What? Yes. Adana is two months pregnant. Yes. <laughs> you must be joking. Adana is two months pregnant. No, I think I know my daughter. No. I don't believe what you're saying. I don't like can't be pregnant. No. No, she's a well-behaved girl. I said she's two months pregnant. <laughs> I don't like two months pregnant. Can this be the surprise he was talking about? I don't believe this. Adana. Yes, Papa. Who is responsible for this pregnancy? Papa, I'm very sorry for disappointing you. Please, 
forgive me. I never meant to do so. I only wanted to give my father a pleasant surprise. You already have succeeded in giving me a surprise, but it's not a pleasant one. Who is responsible for this pregnancy? <laughs> Papa, he loves me. And I love him too. He really wanted to marry me, but his parents, especially his mother, said no. <laughs> and he doesn't want to disobey his parents. You have not answered my question, Adana. And it's a very simple one. Who is responsible for this pregnancy? Papa, he doesn't even know that I'm pregnant. He doesn't know I'm pregnant for him. Doesn't he have a name? I don't know his name. It is easy for me to tell from the look on your face that you're lying to me. You know his name. You don't want to tell me. I wouldn't be happy if you stay in my house and give birth to a child whose paternity is not established. You will not only be inflicting some indignity on me, but you'll be providing my second wife an opportunity to scorn at all the values that I represent. And that I am not disposed to tolerate. And rather than have them insult me, I will kick you out of this house. <laughs> You just said I should leave your house. I will because you're bringing shame to the family. I'm not quite sure I can take that. I'm not. I'm not. Fine, Papa. Fine. If you want me to leave, I will leave. I know. I will survive with my baby. I will leave your house. Your mother promised to tell me who your father was or is. She never got to doing that before she passed on. You know, I didn't want her to run away from the family I sent her once. And because of that, I did not go pestering her as to who was responsible for the pregnancy. I did not want to scare her again out of the door. Um, because of the love I had for her, I believed that after she would have given birth to you, she, she told me all about it. Then she gave birth to you. You are a boy. And she died so the mystery of who your father is or was still remains. I sincerely hope that one day, the good Lord, in his infinite mercy, will reveal to me who your father is, was. For the answer must come. Thank you, Papa. At least now I'm relieved and consoled with the fact that my mother was not a harlot. And my father did propose to her, but it did not work out. Time will go on, Louis. We must go. We must go. <laughs> yes, my father. So, right, so.
him. Dad, what name should we call him? Mm, um, I've been thinking about it, but uh, I've not come at anything. Think about that. Think. <laughs> Baba, Baba, why is he crying? I mean, why is he crying? Um, anyway, uh, since it's a foster son, let's call him Foster. Dad, what kind of name is that? He's so nice. Okay. Okay. Since you don't have a name for him, let's call him Josh for Joshua. Good name. Thank you. Thank you. Josh. Yes. Josh. Mm -hmm. Joshua. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I don't, I, I don't really understand this. Why don't we relax a little bit? You have to go. My baby brother needs me. Your baby brother. So you're not the one babysitting your brother? I thought your dad employed a nanny to take care of your brother. Yes, he did. But I have to go. I have to be around him. I mean, he needs me. I need him to grow up and start seeing me, seeing me like his mother. I mean, I'm his only sister and he's my only brother. Please. Sweetheart. Don't you think your baby brother is coming in between us? Come on, you, you barely have time for me these days. Is that a baby brother this, your baby brother that? I don't understand, I'm not comfortable with this. So confused. See, this is just for now, okay? I just need to have a strong bond with him. And when he goes to a point, all these things will stop, and very soon, okay? Hmm? I'll see you soon. Okay, I'll see you, okay? I love you. Take care of yourself, okay? The little baby. She doesn't have time for me anymore. My kid brother this, my kid brother that. Are you serious? The worst part of it all is someone I've not been here for like three good weeks. She came here and could not stay up to an hour. An hour? You know, Kelvin, I, the truth is that you have gotten a rival here. But not just a rival, but a very big restie that stops you from getting to your promised land. And the question is, are you going to turn back or walk through the restie to your promised land? It's up to you. You know, Jude, you won't cease to amaze me with your readers. I'm very sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mama, tell this girl to enter this car now and jump into the city. Mike, calm down. Take it easy, Biko. Take what easy? Take what easy? This girl is going to the city now with me. You see, brother, I'm no more a kid. I'm an adult. You can't, you can't decide for me on how to live my life. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere with you, period. Mike, please, calm down first. Let's listen to her and know why she doesn't want to follow you to the city. Don't mind me. Mama, listen to who? Listen to her nonsense? Mama, you know very well that I took this girl to the city. Mama, so that this girl will meet rich men. Rich men who are well to do. So that they will get married to her. And all she did was come back to this empty village, meet one stupid monkey that will get her pregnant. And maybe at the end of the day, they end up marrying each other. Mama, no. This cannot happen. She will not stay in this village as far as I'm concerned. She is going to sit with me now. Come and pack me now. Come and carry me. Mama, good morning. Welcome. Mike, you visited.
I, I hope all is well. My son, you are welcome. Don't mind him. All is well. I know it was because of me. Nobody wants to associate with the bastard. Nobody wants their sister to be seen around a boy whose paternity is not ascertained. I know all that. You know I hate it when you talk like that. Please, don't leave me. Even if every other person deserts me and despises me, don't leave me, stay with me. Be the reason I want to stay alive. That's why I'm here for you. The last time I left you, it almost cost me you. And I believe God has a reason of keeping you alive till now. That's why it didn't die up it. And I still want to be the reason why you will still be alive. Thank you for being there for me. I will do anything for you. Same thing I've been telling you about for years now. Mm, you told me so many things, I don't know which one you're referring to. Try to be specific. Hmm? I need to go back to the city and hustle like other people do. That's a good ambition. You're free. Come on. Go back to the city and hustle, to use your own words, like other people do. Come on. But I need you to raise some money for me. At least, sell one plot of land and give me the money. I will not do that. You will not do that? I will not do that. You said you will not do that. Shut up and don't question me like that. What right do you have to catechize me? What's your problem, son? I said I will not, and I mean every word of it. Listen to me. You know, sometimes when I look at you, I ask myself, am I really your father? Am I? The reason is simple. I have a very strong feeling that your mother strayed because, listen son, whenever I watch you and think about the kind of original stupidity that characterizes everything that you do, I say, this is not my son. And you're standing before me and saying, you mean you will not? Listen to me. How am I sure that if I give you money, you will use it judiciously? Tell me. Papa, but you are planning to sell a plot of land for that bastard. Who is the bastard here? You had an opportunity to define your life and you blew it in the company of prostitutes. The young man went into the city with nothing. He established a thriving business. He bought himself a car. He rented an apartment before he was duped. All he requires now is a little assistance, just some push-up, so he can re-establish his business, and that I am willing to do for him. Do I make myself clear? Papa, I will not have you deny me my parents because of that bastard. Instead, we will die. All of us will die in this house. Why is your Uncle. face like that? Eh? Uncle, eh? come and warn your brother. Oh. Come and warn your brother. What has he done again? Imagine, Papa. He wants to sell one of his land and give up the money from the process of the sales. While I have been in this village wasting, begging him to sell just one plot of land and reestablish me. But Papa refused. You see, why does Ubu do like that? Why does he. Oh, no. I told him to stop this thing. Eh? Why has he gone back to it? Eh? Uncle, you better come and warn him. On. If he tries it, all of us, I mean, all of us will die. No, 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 nobody will die. 
Come back, come back first. Come back, Nana, come back. What sort of thing is this? Why is my brother like that? I don't want a situation where I become successful tomorrow and someone comes to tell me I'm enjoying his inheritance. I know I won't be in this village forever. My stay here is temporary. I'll work hard. I'll do all sorts of jobs to raise enough money to start up again. I promise you that, Papa. I am the head of this family and what I say is what obtains. I have decided I will give you the money and I will give you the money. You used your money once very effectively. You can use money again the way you did previously. The matter is closed. Thank you, Papa. Now, now, I'd like to talk with you. Say what you want to say and live here now. I have told Papa to not give me any money from the sale of the land if he eventually sells it. I wouldn't be needing the money. I've asked him to give it to you. I don't want that money to be the reason for any conflict. Already I'm a problem in this family. My presence here irritates everyone. I don't want to compound it the more. It's even better for you. Because you wouldn't have lived to enjoy that money. It's all right. You can have the money, have the whole of it. I will survive. There is God. I will, I will work hard and make something out of my life. Have a nice day.
You like it? I like it. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me get you water. Finish it too. So why are we here? Uh, we are here to make a toast. Just that? Just that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. Okay, fine. What are we toasting to? Uh, we are toasting to a better day after now. Um, long life, prosperity, and of course, um, more money to our pocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like the last one. I know you love the last one, yeah. Pardon me, sir. Yes. How is the baby now? Oh, what's better? The injection the doctor gave to him did magic. Oh, that's interesting. That's good. That's good. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Sandra. You want to pull my legs you now? Yeah. Just tell me. What is it? Excited. I'm happy too. I'm happy, Dad. I'm so happy. Cause for celebration. Of course. We are popping champagne this night. Me and you. Oh, yes. <laughs> like that. And your baby brother is much better now. Are you serious? Yes. Okay, I'm coming. Let me go see you.
Um caso de sofrimento e história. E não procura a nossa emoção. Ele só te vê da TV, não vê por não pode se fazer. Ele passa tempo para nós de vir. E se viu que ele é de voz. Ele só te vê da flor que ele dá um coelho para nós. Ele dá te viu a vida do brother de vida. Ele é de vida. Ele é de vida. Ele é de vida. Ele é de vida. White plate with cover. Don't go and carry someone's food though. Okay, thank you. in heaven will not allow them to succeed with their plans to eliminate you. My God still loves me. Amen. So, what did you do with the food? I didn't want them to know I did not eat it. So I went to the backyard and buried the food and kept the plate in place. So in their minds, they thought I ate the food. Good. <laughs> They will be expecting their fathers to die and not you. God will not let that happen. Amen. See, I want to tell you something. Do not eat anything again in the house. If you're very hungry, you can come to my house and eat. At least you can still provide three square meals a day. Please. I have decided to go back to the city. Here is no longer safe for me. But you've not made any reasonable savings. It is better for me to go back to the city with the little savings I have than to stay here and lose my life in the process of waiting for big money.
Chinedu is fond of sleeping, it will be now his mat. So tell him not to sleep with the not tonight. What's the meaning of that? Won't your bed contain both of you? What is he doing with him on the floor mat? Sometimes, Chinedu sleeps in But sometimes, he goes to the bathroom to lie down with his opening. No, 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 no. Just talk to him. He's not going to be mad. Hey! Don't worry. I'll talk to him. He should never try it next time. <laughs> there will be a next matter tonight. Hey! Oh! I forgot. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Can I give my son? I'm fine, thank you, Papa. Take some. No, Papa, thank you. I'm okay. Papa, I have come to tell you that I've decided to go back to the city. No reason, Papa, just that I'm, I'm tired of staying in this village. I see. Have you saved up enough money to help you restart your business? Whatever I have, Papa, I, I, I just want to go with it and start up something. Mm, all right. Um, well, if you say so, um, when do you intend to leave? Later today, Papa. It's all right. Before you take off, Come and see me. I have some little money for you. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much. Did he eat the food? Did he eat the food? Are you sure you added the stuff that's very well? Hey, Mama, I personally added it this morning before leaving. I'm very sure. Maybe he did not eat the food. Hey, or the charm did not have effect on him. Some sacrifices you will no longer sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no evil force will come your way. Mm -hmm. This time around, it will be continued progress. Mm -hmm. God bless you, son. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Mm -hmm. God bless you.
Sandra, we have to take the baby to the hospital. I was just coming to see him. What is it? What happened? Yes, I left him in the parlor while preparing his food. As I came out, I found him not moving. His eyes are permanently shut. Jesus, what's it? Come on, show me. You need to come to the hospital now. Yes, yes, just come to the hospital. I don't know what is going on again. I don't even know what is happening to Rose. I am tired. It's Josh. He's not moving. He's not talking. He just shut his eyes. In fact, I don't understand. I don't understand. I am scared. Please come. Please come. Please come. Stop crying. Maybe we are cursed. Maybe it's our lot. Why would anyone curse us? Why? I don't know. We have to take life as we see it. This is too much. This is too much. It's just too much. Do not tell anybody about this. Don't call anybody. Do you hear me? Stop. <laughs> Don't worry. We shall soon get over it. Going. It's getting late. Okay, but are you sure your brother will take you back into his house? My brother is not the problem. You should be concerned about yourself. My brother will be happy to see me. Let's go. I don't have any problems with Uche. He's my very good friend. He only told me to go home and tell my people the situation of things. So let's go. Sandra, where are you going to? I want to go spend the night at Kelvin's place. I believe that will help me. At this moment. Are you sure you can drive yourself in this condition? Oh, these boys have all gone home. Then I'll take a taxi. Okay, better. Remember I told you, don't call anybody, don't tell anybody. Even Kelvin? You can tell Kelvin. In fact, let me have your phones. Let me keep them for you this night. Dad, as if you know, I don't need them now. I'm having serious headache. Dad, let me go. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Good night. Take care of you. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? Don't you bother me. Answer my questions now. I've come back to stay with you people. You're about to stay? Yes, sir. Okay. My house has now become a challenge where you walk in and out at will. No, no, brother. Be. Thank you, stars. You know what I would, I would have done to you. That's why you came at this time of the night. But I'll give you this night as grace. Tomorrow morning, you are going back to the village. That village that you, 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 you see as a fortress. You are going back to that village tomorrow morning. Be. Please, don't baby me. Because I don't know if you're going to give this girl a hand. Don't baby me again. Sorry. Uh, right. Brother, please now. Don't worry about that. Eh? He has always wanted you to come back and stay with us. He's just pretending like you're yeah. Yes. Let's go. Right. How was your trip? So, maybe the first time I saw you at Tobina's place, I said, wow, it's so naturally and down. <laughs> yeah. 
I noticed it. Yeah? I saw your eyes rolling all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I said to myself, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah. Is he forgetting I'm his friend's girl? So, I said something to myself. I'll go to any length to have this babe. Yeah. yeah. Gucci? Yeah? Don't tell me you're behind your friend's misfortune just to have No, me. but it's something I promised myself. And I must have this babe. So, so we be here nearly. <laughs> Bad boy. No, 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 no. Abby! Anita! What are you doing here? I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I had an emergency, so I had to leave the village. My, my life was at stake. But you should have called me before coming. I no, I could have called you, but I lost my phone. I lost so contact. Moreover, I didn't think it would be an issue, me coming into the same house. Obina. We are not spending a night here. Yeah. Leave. Okay. I said you are not spending a night here. Leave. Now I have seen the kind of friend you are. With her already on your bed and living with you less than three months I left here. Obi, go back where I am coming from, please. Will you please, please, go back where Obi, there's no one. Come on, baby, relax. Hey! Why did you do this? Don't worry, relax. Where do I go from here? Uche. 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 Anyway. I have made up my mind to survive, and I must survive. I won't be that. Ah, madam. Good evening. Hello. Madam, this one your face though. Who said person will die? It's your boss, sir. Yes, Moga the inside. I should not even carry her car home. Abi, the robbers don't collect her motor. Who knows? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, my mind did not get to that place. So when you told me, yes. It then dawned on me how rich I would become if he finally died without a son. Of course now, so no adopted son will take my inheritance. Of course, it's not a, see, let me tell you something, my brother. Even if they decide to adopt another son, what happened to this one will happen to that same one they will adopt. Let it be the first, second, third, they will keep dying until they are tired and they will concentrate on us. <laughs> it's not a problem, it's not a problem. Hello? Please hold up. Who is that? What's up? 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 Come here. Who was that? Oga. Who was that? Oga, okay, madam. Which of the madam? Auntie Sandra. Sandra. Yes, Oga. 
She came in and I didn't hear the sound of a car. Oga, she no carrying her car at home. Now want I drop her outside. No wonder he was bent on you leaving his house, so he will be free to be bringing in that girl. They have been seeing each other behind my back. Oh, this is crazy. Uchi, how could you betray a friend just like that because of a girl? I'm not even bothered about Anita. I never loved her, honestly. I just used her to get back at you when you and I had issues, and it worked. But not to worry, this has only taught me a lesson that I trusted the wrong person almost all my life. So what are you going to do now? Like, you can't sleep in my brother's house. I know. I, I'll just look for a hotel and pass the night, then tomorrow morning I'll sort myself out. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yes, I... <laughs> Is that not Sandra? Come, Sandra! Who is she? Chivike's daughter now. The, the billionaire. Our own Chivike? Yes. The wittiest man in our village? Yes. Like what she's in trouble. Yeah, I don't know, let's go find out what's yes, wrong with her. Sandra! Sandra! Are you okay? Who are you? I, I, I'm Obina. My name is Obina. This is Inina. We are both from Umoke. We are your brethren. Yes. I just want to die. I just want to kill myself. What is wrong? What, what is happening? Where is your car? Oh, I've been trying. I didn't come out here. Okay, I'll, I'll get a taxi and take you home to your father. I know your house. I can't go home in this state. I don't want my father to see me like this. I will just send him in now. Okay, okay, okay. I just in, want in, to give okay. myself. In that case, I'll get a hotel. I'll go get a taxi and take you to a hotel. Then tomorrow morning, I'll take you to your house, okay? Hotel? Yes. Nina, please take care of her. Let me get a taxi. All right. All right. Sorry. <laughs> When I heard about the death of your only brother, I felt very sad. How could that happen? Everybody in Umuke wept bitterly. My father couldn't get over the effect of my brother's death. That was why I suggested adoption. That was how Josh came into our lives. Things got better. Yes. And again he dies. Jesus. How do I begin to tell my father that his prospective son in law murdered his son? just to inherit his wealth. Huh? What? My father needed his son in law. He needed grandchildren, at least to help suit his emotions. That was why when I announced my engagement to Kelvin, 
there was a huge celebration in our house. The whole family was happy. At last, I am getting married. At last, I am going to give my father his grandchildren. Kids, to at least make him feel happy. Now, the man I am engaged to mothers my younger brother all in his quest to inherit wealth he knew nothing about tell me how do i begin to tell my father that the man i am going to marry is a murderer oh jesus oh, my whole world is crumbling my whole world is crumbling i don't even know how to start i don't even... it's okay it's, it's okay it's okay i I believe when I tell you my own story, you understand that we all have our individual baggages. Whether rich or poor. <laughs> Take that and be consoled. I... I... It's okay. Was labeled a bastard. I never knew my mom. I don't even know my dad. Never met him. Only my mom knew my dad. And she never divulged his identity to anybody till she died. My grandfather's family want to eliminate me by all means. They see me as a stranger who has come to live with them. So they do everything possible to eliminate me. I am not having a happy life. Everything in that house is agonizing. I only took Consolation in the fact that my grandfather loves me. It's better for me to live in hell than continue staying there. So I decided to come back to the city and get in here. My best friend will not receive me in his house because he had taken over my girlfriend. So he threw me out. I didn't know what to do. I, I was stranded, I was confused, I was, I was devastated. I was just wondering how to go back to the village after spending a night in this hotel before I saw you. Oh my God. I mean, your story is more pathetic than mine. Everyone has a story to tell. I wish I can adopt you. I mean, I wish I can call you my brother. Since they've rejected you. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride on them. But I'm glad I'm able to bring down your spirit this night. Thank you very much. You're an angel. You're welcome. Don't worry, I've found a friend in you, and I will never lose you. I'm glad our paths crossed. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. Henceforth, all is well. Okay? Amen. So,
I've lost everything. I have lost everything. See, I, I, love, I love this girl so much. I love her so much. I need to apologize to her. I need to talk to her. Kevin, are you planning on going back to that house? Listen, I need to see Sandra. She must be in an emotional mess right now, so speak. I have to explain to her that I wasn't like this when we started. I wasn't like this. Everything was based on love until you happened. You have lost everything. And you want to lose your life too. How? How? You just committed murder. And if Ike is a figure in this country, just one call from him, you are finished. She'll be thinking of going to Ghana, flying to Ghana. Stop staying here before you know it. If Ike's troop will just invade this house. Oh my God. And you'll be arrested. You know, I can't, I can't just, I can't stand this. I don't want to be arrested in this thing. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, God. What am I going to do now? What do I do? I have to put myself together. What do I do? Okay. First, I have to go in there, get my stuffs, and leave this place. Yes. I have to go on inside. At least for now, I'll say everything gets fine. Oh, my God. Oh, man in ship clothing. There's a man beyond the man. Dad. Good afternoon, Chief. Dad, you're still grieved. No. If I could get over the death of my own biological son, who has grown into a man, why wouldn't I get over that of a baby? Just that I'm still thinking of so many other things. By the way, who is this young man with you here? Dad, I don't know where to start. Start what? Dad, do you know Kelvin has been fake all along? He never loved me. He was actually after your wealth. I don't believe this. That Kelvin killed Josh. What? I bumped into him on a discussion. He was telling whoever was on the other side of the phone how he has perfected his plans that even if you adopt another child, that he's going to kill him. This cannot be true. Dad, you know I can never lie to you. I know what I heard. I heard it all. In fact, I ran out of the house. I was so devastated. I was so mad. I was so frustrated. I just ran out. I was just running. I don't know where. I just wanted to kill myself. I wanted to commit suicide that night. If not for Obi here, who saw me and recognized me. He saved me yesterday night. That idiot must be brought to book now. Right away. Bundle him to this place. Do you hear me? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Move immediately. Daddy. Daddy. I would like yes, you to meet Obina. Meet me. Which your dinner? The, the guy I came back with. How can you bring in a total stranger to my house? That Yopina is not a stranger. He's actually a nice guy. Um, DPO. Yes, it's chief. I sent some of your men to my house right away. I want them to pick up an idiot. 
Yes, yes. Yes. Please, immediately. I'll be waiting. Thank you so much. Daddy, please, you have to meet Ogunna. Sandra, please. leave this place. Daddy. Ow! Since your father doesn't like me. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. He's a very simple man. You know what I just told him? Had him walked up. I believe when he comes down, he will come and see you. Okay? Okay, I, I have to be on my way then. To where? I want to go home. Which home? Please sit down. Sit down, let me get you something to eat. Okay, let me get you something from the kitchen. Don't go anywhere. And where is the bandit? Sir, we searched everywhere. We couldn't find him. How? Yes, sir. We went to his compound. We met his absence. His customer told us he packed his bag and left early this morning because of what happened between him and Sandra last night. And he didn't tell you where he went to? No, sir. It's just that he was aware he traveled outside the country according to the instructions given to him. <laughs> so, this is true. Sir, there are some first men at the gates now from the state headquarters. They said you sent for them. Uh, yes. Uh, tell them to go back to the station. I will speak to their boss on phone. All right. Sir. Kevin. Kevin. I don't want you to take it hard on yourself, please. Don't worry, I'm fine. I know I've never wronged anyone. I've never wished anyone evil. If this is how God wants to pay me back after all the good works I've done, both to his work and humanity, so be it. He is God. I cannot question him. Yes, he is God. And we cannot question him. Daddy, yes. please, I need you to do me a favor. What favor? Please, I want you to meet Obina. He really needs our help. Yes. I know it. I know it. You want to start from where Kevin stopped. That, that's not true. He's different. He's a very nice young man, please. It's all right. I'm coming. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Young man, who are you? Thank you, sir. My name is Obina. I am from Umoke community. Umoke. Which village in Umoke? Umoakeka. Umoakeka. Who is your father? Uh, my, my grandfather is Mazu. I said your father. I don't know my father, but I only grew up meeting my grandfather, Mazu. 
Mazugu. Mazugu. Um, I had one beautiful girl in Mwakika that I wanted to marry, but my parents rejected her. Her father's name was Mazugu, and her name was um, uh, Adana. That's my mother's name. Your mother? Yes. see your parents so I can take you to my father. I'm no longer comfortable with this hide and seek affair. Again, I promised my father that I will not have anything to do with any man except the man that will marry me. Then I've made up my mind to marry you. Again, you said your parents have to give their consent first. Yes. Then when? When are we seeing them? You have to be fast be before this thing becomes noticeable. Which thing? Nothing. Just take me to your parents so that you come and see my father. Oh, my love is looking so sweet today. Uh, <laughs> wow, turn around. <laughs> Thank you to make sure I impress your parents. Oh yes, with what I'm seeing now, I'm sure. I'm sure they will like you. Are you serious? Yeah. Like this? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Come here. <laughs> okay, get into the car and let's start going. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Meet my girl, Ada. Ada, meet my parents. Wow. You did that. You're welcome, my you daughter. Hey, Ken. Yes, Mom. What is mean of this? Oh, Mom. So, of all the girls in the world, this is what you choose to marry? I'm sorry she is too short to my liking. I don't like her. She's too short. She's a beautiful young girl. What beauty are you talking about? I see her as a beautiful girl. My son cannot marry her. Oh, you want her to start giving birth to the wives? For me, as grandchildren. Huh? I'm sorry it will not work. You are not her god. Ada, Ada, please come back. Ada, 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 Ada. You gotta come back here. <laughs> Can I have never been humiliated like this all my life? Never. I'm never. Ada, I'm sorry. I didn't know that my mother would detest you. I'm so sorry. Ikena, you want to leave me because you have your mother? I cannot, I cannot. I'm sorry. Ikena, you have to choose between your mother and I. Don't leave me. Ikena, what are you doing there? Go inside. Oh, Ikena, don't leave me, please. Ikena, I'm talking to you, son. <laughs> Could it be the same Adana? I, I never knew, knew she, she was pregnant. She never told me. Wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? I mean, what is happening? Young man, you must take me to your grandfather right away. I need to confirm something.
Obinna, what crime did you commit? What are you doing with Chipikenna? I want to tell you one of whom Hey! Nana, is Papa around? Chief wants to see him. He must be at Uncle Weke's place. Yes. Let me go. Let me go and call him. Okay, thank you. Obinna, I hope all is well. Oh. I told him, I said, look, hey, I like what you're saying, but I will not do Papa, it as you said. Papa, 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 you have to come to the house now. Any problem? Obina came in with Chifike on one year till order to accompany, and he said Chifike wants to see you now. Mm. I hope there is no problem. I wouldn't know. You see, you won't allow me to enjoy this palm wine. Eh? Okay. Can you want to take me here, boy? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'll keep your wine for you. Mm. It's in this place. I'll keep it for you. You put that money at the moment. Mm. That look. That look. That look. Now that we have eaten the cola nut, I'll once again say welcome to my house. And uh, it's time for you to tell me what brought you here. Uh, yes. Uh, your yeah, uh, grandson, Obina, here, uh, accidentally came into my house uh, with my daughter, Sandra. And then. Uh, in the process of my interview with him, he mentioned Adana, and uh, her father's name was Mazugu. And um, it struck my mind that I had a very beautiful girl that I intended to marry, whose father's name was Mazugu. I'm from the same Mwakika. I, I, I then decided that uh, I should come with him to know if it's the same Adana or a mere coincidence. That is why I am here. Well, um, <clears throat> there's only one way we can establish whether my own Adana is the Adana you are referring to. Um, if you see her photograph, you can at least identify her. Sure. Obina. Papa. Go to the room under my pillow. Get me Adana's photograph. Okay, okay, Papa. Is this your daughter? Yes, it's my daughter. I have a very pretty daughter. Are you married yet? No, sir. Where is Papa? Mm. Uh, it is the person you're referring to. Yes. Exactly the same clothes she wore the very last day I saw her. The day I, I introduced her to my parents. My God, uh, I should keep it. Mm -mm. It's not yours yet. Yeah, don't be in such a hurry. Um, today is a special day. 
in my family. It is special because Adana promised she was going to surprise me before she passed on. And today I have experienced that surprise. So I am happy that wherever she is now, she will rest in the assurance that the surprise she promised me, she has fulfilled it. So you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe this. Oh my God. I'm speechless. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Daddy Annie actually looks like you. He's my son. Come. Come. He's my son. Oh my God, I didn't know I still have a son of my own blood. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. My son. My son. Um, I, I am sorry for any mistakes I must have made in the past. I am very sorry. Uh, I will come with my, my, my people to come and perform all the traditional rites for the marriage. I mean, the mother's marriage. And uh, I will do that very soon. I will do it. Thank you. Um, meanwhile, I will want to go with him. It's my song. Um, no, I think you are in a terrible hurry. You may be his biological father, but traditionally he's not your son yet. Until those customary rites are performed by you. Meanwhile, he stays with me. Hmm? Um, let me just add that the ball is in your court. Whenever you decide, You'll come and just let us know. So we'll be prepared for you. Hmm? It's all right. I will do that. So, uh, and I will do it very, very soon. Um, uh, but please, uh, can I give him money, uh, some money for his occup? You're free to give him anything you like. Okay. Uh, Sandra, you. give me 50,000 naira there. Papa, <laughs> uh, take it, son. It's yours. It's yours. <laughs> Papa, I, I, I want to share this money with my brothers and sister. That's very thoughtful of you. That's magnanimous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's for all of us, the five of us, who get 10,000 naira each. Please go share it. But first, give Mama her own 10,000 and share the rest. Oh my God, that'd be nice, that'd be a bastard. <laughs>
this night. We are going out for a party tonight. What party is that? A billionaire is celebrating his son's return. And his son's got missing in abroad some years ago. And the guy came back. So the man is celebrating the son's return. And you are just telling me this? No, I just heard the story now, my friend. She's like, a, who was working with the man told me this night. So that's why we are going for the party. And let me show you, all the big musicians you know, we parade in that party. And then go prepare, go prepare. Make me say go prepare. Why is the party starting? Tonight! <laughs> and they come. Be first! Ladies and gentlemen, today is the happiest day of my life. After the death of my wife, my son, and my adopted son, I almost came to the conclusion that God created me to die without a son. It did not occur to me that the mistake I made 26 years ago resulted to a son who has been stigmatized, labeled an outcast, called a bastard, humiliated and dejected. I thank God in his infinite mercy who has brought father and son together miraculously. I have corrected that mistake of the past having gone to pay the bride price of his late mother. Ladies and gentlemen, I call on you to join me to welcome my son, the heir apparent to all that belongs to me, Mr. Obina Johnson. Very much. You may now sit. Um, good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here today, and I wish to say thank you. I'm really grateful for all of you who have um, gathered here to celebrate me today. I, I really do appreciate this. Everything is still like a dream to me. Yet I do not understand what's going on, but I, I give God the glory for making this a possibility that today I will eventually see my father. Thank you so much and um, I wish to state that I owe someone a very huge appreciation, someone who has stood by me through thick and thin, someone who has um, shown immense support to me even when every other person deserted me. I cannot fail to show appreciation. Daddy, please, let me do this. Go ahead. Thank you, Dad. Nina, you have been a great friend. You have been a great source of strength. You have been a pillar of support. You have been everything. You've been a wonderful human being to me. And I wish to appreciate and say, I'm really grateful for everything you have done. I thank you so much and I plead to make this very one request from you and hope that you grant it. Please marry me. You will. Thank you.
Seigneur. 